friends who are listening to me, I introduce myself, my name is John David, I greet you from the city of Taraboto, I want to share my experience that I had at my young age when God called me, what God did in my life was something very extraordinary, I want to talk to you, I want to share with you this experience that I had found in the book of Revelation 20 verse 12 and I saw the dead great little one stood before God and the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged by the things that were written in the books according to their works, this was one afternoon when I was sick, I was bedridden and my parents had gone out and I was left alone at home, one morning I woke up distressed and desperate, I was lying on my bed when suddenly for the first time in my life I heard a voice in my spirit like a roar of many water, the voice called my name in audible voice and said John, immediately I woke up and got up, I looked at the place where I was there and there was no one who was there, I thought it was my conscience or my mind that was talking to me, again I went to bed and then the louder voice came again strong, I was now afraid and said what's happening with me, but at that moment the voice became the loudest and so strong to the point that my body shook, the voice spoke to me more powerfully, John, son of man, now listen to my voice, you still don't understand what I want to do with you my son, I didn't know what to say and I said inside me, what is that voice that speaks and whisper inside me, but then I saw something, I saw golden letters that were coming towards my eyes which said you are my beloved son, the chosen one in which my soul is well pleased, now listen to what I speak to you son of man, you will be my instrument you will be my important piece for many, at that moment my eyes saw a hand of fire that wrote Joel 2 verse 28, after this I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, your old men will dreams dreams, and I will do wonders in heaven on earth like vapor of smoke, I wanted to open my eyes move my body but I couldn't, it was his Holy Spirit it was his power his presence that was with me, and then in a few minutes I felt my body come back to normal, I woke up scared and afflicted asking myself what's wrong and many thoughts came to my mind, the voice of love that spoke to me and told me, you still don't understand what I want to show you son, go to a quiet place because I want to talk to you about something important. I obeyed and went to the bushes to a silent place there I prostrated myself, and then I remembered when I was going to church people talked about the story of Samuel when he was in the temple suddenly he had an encounter with God and God began to talk to him, in the bush I raised my hands and said Lord, here I am, that's when I saw a light that descended towards me and spoke to me loudly in these terms, now listen to my voice son, you will be my instrument you will be my important vessel for my work, I brought you to this place so that you will hear a word from me and I will show you something important, I felt a hand coming towards me, crown of fire that burns from my head to my feet I could not bear the presence of the Lord and my spirit left my body, when I saw my body lying there I was afraid, and I said I am dead what is happening, then I saw a light that was on me, I saw a character a body of fire that burns and illuminated all that place, he formed a glow and came with a white dove and a white horse, and I saw this character riding a horse, his clothes were white clothes and he had a golden belt and on his robes it said King of Kings and Lord of Lords, I said it's Jesus who is there, I couldn't see his face, I could only see the shoes on his feet and his clothes, I continued watching and he spoke and told me, get ready, come and I will show you, he took me with him and said behold, and I saw a new heaven a new earth and the holy city, just like it is written in the book of Revelation 21 verse 1, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and earth had passed away, and the sea was no more, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, and I kept looking at what he showed me and I saw something beautiful and extraordinary that cannot be compared to this world, I saw angels that prostrated themselves at the entrance, I saw elders, I saw cherubs prostrated themselves before the throne of God and said Abba Father Abba Father, I saw children prostrating before the court of God whose presence filled the place, his presence was the magnificence that filled the place, the voice told me come, and I saw a door that opened and I saw three books, the book of life, the book of works and the book of fruits, an angel came to me and asked me, 
is your name written in these books, I saw people at the left and right to see if their names were written in the book of life, but most people could not find their names in the book of life and they fell in a hollow abyss, when it was my turn the angel asked me what is your name, I told him my name is John, while I observe in the big book with letters of gold that said the book of life. The angel searched for my name and saw my name in that book and he showed me and said here is your name it was golden, I rejoice for my name was found in the book of life, another angel brought another book, I saw that he took out a large book that said the book of works, and began to search, but he could not find my name on that book, it was sad, and again he went to the other book and it happened that my name wasn't very there, it was the book of fruits since my name was in the book of life I was taken in the holy city, and I saw a crystal water that were transparent, I could see my reflection in the living water, and I saw a large leafy tree with fruits, and I saw another tree that was without fruits but it was green and was beginning to grow, then I saw a resplendent character dressed in golden garments, and he said to me come and I will show you, I saw how he extended his hand upwards, immediately he took me to another place, and I saw that it was a wide place filled with a great darkness that I had never seen in my life, a great fear filled me, the voice spoke to me, you must see this, son of man, so that you can speak to many people who need me and my presence, so I kept walking where he was taking me, I saw that I was entering a dark tunnel, and this place seemed like we were going down underground, I began to feel a great fear, and when I got to that place there was a whole black door that said welcome to hell, when I read this I was afraid, I said Lord I don't want to be here, have mercy, I don't want to enter this place, he said my son it is necessary that you see what is in this place, then I saw a light that went down and the door opened, I started to walk slowly and I began to hear moans and laments from the souls that were in that place and shouted and told me, I'm burning, get me out, I heard the voices and I was afraid and I shuddered, said, Lord, have mercy on these souls, mercy, Lord, give them one more chance, but he told me that it is no longer possible, he said all these souls have been preached of my word but because their disobedience their rebellion they are in this place, they knew my ways but it's their stubbornness their disobedience that's why they are here, and I kept walking I saw children, old, prostitutes and shepherds, there were many people in that place, they shouted that they asked for mercy and for compassion but there was no more grace for the souls here, I saw people who had blaspheme, I saw people who gossip and talk things negative about other, people who do bad things are in that place, I kept walking and saw a soul that was moaning telling me, no one can come here unless he is dead but who are you to come here, I said I came because his holy spirit brought me, he told me, when I was on the land people told me there is heaven and hell, I didn't receive the word, Many pastors talked to me about God, and something happened when I was on earth I was driving when I crashed and I died, and demon in black came and led me here in this place, and I saw the demons that were coming, they were coming with arrows, chains, knives, spears to pierce his arms and hands, and since this soul was also in a gossip and demon began to open his tongue and began to butcher his tongue into pieces, and these souls screamed and moans. I trembled in terror and said Lord have mercy Lord, the voice spoke to me and told me it is necessary that you see this my son because what these souls have done on earth this is what they do here in this place, we kept moving when I see a woman coming towards me, she told me why are you here? You don't need to be here because here is a place of torment and gnashing of teeth, when I saw that soul I started to cry again, I said Lord look at this woman that's when the Lord showed me this woman life on earth, she was actually an instrument of God, I saw that the Lord just began to use his life in a supernatural way, but for a certain reason, because of the circumstances of life she walked away, she started doing the things of the world, in fact she found herself in poverty and lack when her parents died and she was left alone in lack and hardship, that's how her trouble began, the lady told me, when I was in the earth I went to the church and listened to the word, but when I grew up I moved away from God I began to do the things of the world. There was a need in my family that was big so, I started doing forbidden things to make money easily, and I saw that she started to prostitute herself and sell herself by sleeping with different men, 
brothers that was the beginning of her deviation until she got lost in alcohol and drugs, and then she started talking and crying saying I want one more chance, it is not good to be in the world to do things of the world, but it's too late, she said what happened to me was that I had a disease that spread to my entire body and many people came to talk to me about the word of God while I was lying on hospital bed, I said I'm going to abandon but I didn't mean it and then little by little the illness was growing in me and until I have died recently, and that is why I am in this place of torment, then the demons came to have sex with her, they put in her mouth an intimate part black snake that had chains of fire, the snake crossed over her whole body, and she started to moan and scream it's burning me, I begged for mercy for her but it was too late, the voice said to me, you will speak to the masses who are on the earth, tell them that there is hell in there is heaven, those who do not obey my word will come here, they must return to me, there is only salvation on earth, I saw more souls, I also saw the singers, the musical groups, I saw Michael Jackson, I also saw the people who worked on scenes and all the singers, people that work with Michael, and these souls moaned in that place with torment, with anguish, then I continued walking and a soul approached and told me, when you go back to earth, tell many to accept that God that is alive and reigns, I don't want you to be in this place, it is sad to be here there is no peace there is only lamentations and suffering, that soul began to moan, I started see a door that opened again and a loud voice said, open the door my son is going to leave, and then I continued walking and left that place of torment and I saw a man in white clothes who grabbed my hand and said come and I'll show you, and we left that place and I saw another way a narrow road, I kept walking the narrow path and I arrived at a big city, I saw a white throne again, it was that place where I was again, angels prostrated worshipping, they said holy 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 king of king and lord of lord, I began to worship and the lord told me, adore me, adore me, then I raised my hands and said lord here I am, a voice louder said, son of man, now listen to me, I bring you this place to show you so that you may speak to many people on earth, those who need me. There on earth there are many who do not believe that I live and I am a real God, I am a God of ancient times and there is no change, I am the Alpha I am the Omega the beginning the end the first the last, beside me there is no other God, then I see some golden letters that spoke to me in Isaiah 4 verse 55 I am Jehovah and there is no one else besides me. I will show you even if you do not tell me, I saw angels prostrate and spread their wings and they were shipped the king of king and lord of lords, I prostrated and raised my hands and then I saw a hand descending towards me and said I brought you son of man so that you can see with your eyes that I have mercy for the sinner I have mercy for the weak, and I said sir I no longer want to return because this place lord there is peace there is freedom, then the voice of God spoke to me, son of man you will go and speak to me who are the many will say that you are crazy many will say that it is a story, many will say it's history but talk about what I'm talking to you son of man then like a breath of life he came towards my spirit like a giant hand that spoke to me and told me to receive the anointing receive the power receive by grace by my mercy I fill you with my presence with my arms of love, then I began to shout brother a fire that burns a fire that burns because I began to feel his presence and glory, I and could not bear it, when I came back, he told me, get up and go home and go tell the good news to your family, I returned home thoughtful about what I had seen, I began to worship I began to sing when my parents arrive, I approached them and said dad mom I want to talk and oh share with you something important about what happened a few hours ago when you were not there, I started to tell them about what I saw, the spirit began to speak through my mouth, his presence began to touch them and they cry, I said why are they crying the voice of the spirit said it is necessary for this to happen, it is my spirit that is touching them, you are a vessel important, we prayed loudly and worshipped and everyone was touched and filled of his presence of his anointing of his power. I began to speak the word of life through my mouth word of power word of fire word that gives life dry bones.